All right, so this will be my first attempt trying to make this into an RC and a bulldozer. So these are the monster truck from Hot Wheels. And it's very nicely detailed. Of course, I'm not gonna need the uh, chassis here and the wheels. Now, all these posts will need to be removed. All right, so these are the 3D printed parts that I designed and I printed out. This is basically the boom arm uh, along with the bucket and the forks. And this guy is just basically the holder for the bucket and the fork. Here is the 3D printed chassis. It's specifically, specifically customized to fit this uh, truck. And hopefully I will have enough room in the back there to hold the to hold the battery and the receiver. These here are my steering knuckles and my front cross members for my steering mechanism. And here is basically my rear differential where my bevel gears were set. These are the motors that I plan to use. These are two six millimeter planetary motor along with the high torque motor for the rear wheels and a rotating servo for my uh, front steering mechanism and these will be the wheels that I'm planning to use these are from I believe green light this is the micro receiver that I will be using now these are the gears that I will be using this set here will be used for the boom arm and this set here will be used for the bucket. This set is for the rear pumpkin. These gears here are 3D printed and I will be testing them out to see if they're able to hold up with the amount of uh, force.
So my servo is not quite in the place that I need it. So I'm using the servo arm here along with the, a spacer. And I rigged up this little uh, U-shaped rod here so I could use this for the steering mechanism. So I finally got everything wired up together and I did a few test run off camera just to see if everything will work properly and it seemed like it will be working properly. Uh, right now I will be applying this, this liquid electrical tape to the exposed wires just so I can uh, cover up these and not short anything out.
now we have the fork we can install If the battery ever needs to be charged on the underside, the underside of this uh, chassis here, there's a charging port that I've built in. What you can do is just take your charging wire, your cable, plug that side into the battery end, and this end into a charging station. There you have it. That's how you charge a battery without taking it out.